everyone welcome to my channel it's me Desiree here with Desiree Plans and in today's video I want to show you my holiday collab box that I received from Erin Condren I was able to pick out some of the items that I wanted from their collection so I'm here to show you what I chose so the biggest item is that mauve tote bag and I'll show you that last because I need to readjust some things but here is that pink asterisk metal book stand I like it. I was unsure of it just because, you know, metal, but it's not a hot pink. It is more of a pastel pink, but it almost has a shimmer to it, but not really, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I like this a lot better than the book stand that's in there. It's not even a book stand. I guess it's like a laptop stand or whatever, but I used it for my planner anyways, but I love this because it's still sleek. Yeah, it does take up some space, but it's still a lot less space than the acrylic ones. So I'm really happy about it. Got that. I'm sure people wish it comes with more colors, but I'm here for it. I love it. It works out great. If you haven't already seen my reel, I basically posted um, a quick little reel showing the new planner that they sent me. But here is my Daily Duo in it, and it fits nicely. Obviously, the Daily Duo is kind of thick, so there is still room. But it sits nicely on there. I'm very pleased with it. Very, very pleased with it. This one is, in my opinion, a must. A must, must have. Um, here is a new planner they sent me here. And it fits nicely in there as well. This one's a little bit thinner just because it is the monthly planner only and let me kind of show you this monthly planner because i'm really excited about it i didn't have this one already so i <laughs> seeing the inside of it is like amazing so 2024 this is one of the new metallic covers it's just metallic covers what it's called really there's not considered holiday but there are what i call snowflakes but it could just be at asterisks but i love that hollow there's the back cover. If you did personalize it, the personalization would be right here. Now, as soon as you open it up here, you still have, again, interchangeable cover, so you can always switch them out. Monthly planner, you put your name. It's the Inspire design, so very colorful by Etta Bean. You have your months at a glance here. July 2023, which again, already passed all the way up to December 2024, but this planner starts in January. You have your 12 boxes to use how you choose, a notes page, and then here is your January tab. So here is what the January spread looks like, just like all the other Inspire designs. Um, it is seven by nine, by the way, seven by nine in size. But here, your notes and productivity dashboard, this is what it looks like. You have a goals box up here, important dates, important projects, and then tracking with all of these habit, habit tracking and dots in there. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32. So for like 31 days, basically. Um, but there's 32 boxes, circles, I should say. So for the whole month, right, you can track one, two, three, four different things. And then it comes with 10 lined pages in between. Now, you are able to add other productivity pages if you want to, um, to this planner. But it already comes with the 10 lined. Here is your February month. And then this is what the February dashboard looks like in the monthly planner. Here is March. Same thing, you got that green color, you got April, here is April's dashboard. So very pretty, it's just gonna match the same theme throughout each month, the same color theme that is. Here is May. At the end of it though, because mine goes to December 2024, you have those 10 line pages still, and then you have some heritage and observance pages here. Your 2025 year at a glance with some checklists there or line, whatever. And then you still have two sticker sheets in the back of the monthly planner. Basic quarter box sheets with a pocket folder, just kind of like the life planner has. So that is a 2024 monthly planner. Definitely check it out. I'm really excited about this. I'm really happy about that one. 
Next is what they're calling a small zip organizer. You probably saw there's a lot of organizers on their site right now. I will be quite honest with you. It's pretty basic. You know, I'm upset that they didn't use the Inspire or the Canvas or the Wildflowers design to match all the other stuff we have. But this is a small zip, whatever I already forgot, organizer. Um, it's really cute. When zipped up, it's like a little cube rectangle, right? But it, more so for travel or planner essentials, however you want to use it. Um, I actually have one that I got from Amazon that's slightly bigger. But again, this is small for a reason, right? <laughs> but it's cute. Nothing on it, though, says Erin Condren. That's what I'm disappointed in. I would have been happy if they would have at least made the inside. Oh, I lied. There's Erin Condren right there. Yeah. It's still plain to me. I want to see it, at least on this, uh, on the outside, too, not just the inside. But it is what it is. Um, these are on the site. There's one other color option in the small one, and then you got the bigger ones. So that's one of the items there. All right. And you may have already seen my pocket planner reel. I chose the Wisteria pocket planner. I did order the Inspire, and that's on the way to me as well. Um, but this one is a lot different <laughs> than prior pocket planners, and that's because they decided to make it have that little extra for a pin, which I don't like. I get that there's convenience, but I don't like it. I just don't. That's what it looks like. There's your gap. You could fit a couple of different type of pins in here, which is kind of nice, but still, I like the binding. Like, I just like it. Like, I don't know. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, but this is the Wisteria Pocket Planner in a vegan leather. You got the Erin Condren and Boss logo there. There's what it looks like when you open it up here. You got your 2024, 2025 months, heritage and observances, a notes page, which I use the new planning bookmark stencil. Here is your 2024 monthly glance. So in the past, whatever was on the outside kind of matched the inside. Not this time around. No matter what pocket planner you choose, whether it's the champagne, the Inspire, or the Wildflowers, it's going to have the same canvas interior. So no color inside. No color. All the same gray. And it does even show the holiday observances already in there. Very small, of course. This is what 2024 dashboard looks like. Monthly goals, important dates to do, a notes page. And then you get into your weekly spread. So it says January 1 through 7. And it's a horizontal spread. Saturday and Sunday do share one line, though. And it goes the same throughout until you get to the end of it. You have another two note pages before it goes into February. And same setup all the way across. So pretty basic. <laughs> it comes with a ribbon, a mauve ribbon, which I'm mauve, Miss Mysteria, whatever you want to call it. It does match, though. And no stickers, no pockets like the other, of course, but very simple. So it's a duo now. So it's coming with this Erin Condren Gray Fine Liner Duo. And, you know, gray, this is how it writes. I used it with my stencil. So it's dark enough to look like black, but it's actually gray. So not bad. I'm not mad at the color choice. I do wish it was black, but it's, it's not bad. So... A couple of different pins that could fit in here that I want to show you. I've been really loving the Right Tech pins. Um, I've like really been loving them. <laughs> and so they have a few different ones and it's round, it's pretty thin, but it's still a tight fit. Um, it's not bad, it's just tight. And I feel like as many different pins as you put in there, it could mess up the binding on the inside, which sucks because I want to use different pins if I like different pins. This is a zebra blend, which is kind of round at this point, and I have to keep it open for it to work and then close it up and it's fine. But it's hard when it's closed to actually slide it in. So yeah, but it, it does still fit though. Anyhow, you got those pins. Here's the one it came with. We'll leave that there. The new bookmark is pretty amazing. I was very shocked at it. 
This one, there's four others, I believe. So this is a planning bookmark stencil. And it looks like it's gold. Apparently it's copper. And it is metal, but it's also very flexible and flimsy and thin, which I love. You can put it in here and use this as a bookmark. That's your bookmark. Slide it in. And you see how thin it is? Like it's not like bulking up the planner. Like it's, it's rather thin. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. This could work in like a Hope and Eat. It's going to work in any planner, but I'm more excited for my Hope and Eat sheet. I know, but it'll fit in my Hope and Eat sheet and whatnot. Um, as mentioned, there's like a, this is a planning one. So you got the circles, the squares, the heart, exclamation, a little teardrop and a quarter box and whatnot. So you can order the budget stencil. There's a meal planning stencil. Oh, there's one more and I already forgot a wellness stencil as well and so I can't I don't recall which one's which but there's like a silver a gold well this is gold but there's like a rose gold color so there are different colors they're not just all gold but really cute and flexible I love it it's a perfect straight edge for on the go the and just a real quick recap just so you know this is a very old pocket planner but they've all been pretty much the same the only difference is there's no actual bind to it since there's this extra space for it. So it came with the ribbon. Um, I put tabs on mine to make it awesome. <laughs> but the monthly spread were always colorful to match each month, basically. And in this one, not the case. So it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You see how it's colorful over here? You got all those colors to match and whatnot. Here it's just all gray. I'm still going to put tabs, guys. Just so you know, I get my tabs from Passion Planner. And I even have a discount code, too. You can check out the description. But yes, tabs are amazing because they're laminated. They're laminated tabs, so they're very sturdy. And I have it in, gosh, all my southbound planners. Here is your other example. Here is a Flora. I have these tabs. So I use like a peach color theme, but then they also have like hollow gold, silver, black, all that. Um, this, I obviously did rainbow because it was like a layers rainbow color. My color blends, I used black. So different options, right? <laughs> different options. I also use the Erin Condren's monthly sticker book collection um, to decorate it because it actually is, holds up pretty well, especially with like the dashboards and stuff. It's kind of nice. So Again, you got lots of color here, whereas the other one you don't. But yeah, these this is how kind of like the monthly stickers look. These aren't these are last year's, but you get the idea, right? It can totally work out in these planners, the actual monthly stickers. However, new this year, Planner Kate. Planner Kate sells like monthly doodles too that are really cute. Um and it has comes like one sheet comes with like a few different September sizes and some deco that you can use to decorate your planner as well. So I probably will be using planner case stickers this year. I think they're a little bit more fun to decorate, <laughs> to decorate at this point. Um, as an example, here is November, you know, give thanks. Like it's just small enough. It's perfect. It's like a perfect size. And then here's Christmas, December. Yeah. I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably going to be using that one, but either way, just my tabs, fashion planner. That's where you go. Now, what else did they send me? They sent me some notepads. Again, I had to choose between like pins, notepads. Like it was pretty basic. Um, I already have enough pins. So I picked notepads. You can never have enough notepads. This is a 2024 notepad. Obviously you can get them personalized and whatnot too, if you wanted and then new this year, I also got and chose the Wisteria insert, bag insert. So here it is, the Wisteria bag organizer insert with Erin Condren. Now, as you can see, it's rather big and it's meant to fit in a purse or a tote or whatnot. This pocket here is big enough for my Hobonichi cousin, my Aura Stelm, any A5, so like a petite planner will fit in there. Then you have this other pocket here 
pin loops. These are actually like credit card holders, card holders. They don't go all the way deep. Well, th this one is like the big one, but these, they don't go that deep. It's just meant for the actual card. On the other side, you have another big pocket. This is where I was actually holding my pl pocket planner in here because it fits perfectly. And then here you have another pocket. Does it have a little button close? And I just kind of threw some post-its in there. Maybe you want to put washi. Who knows? And then you have the overall insert itself. It does have a zipper so you can close it shut. But when open, this is what it looks like. It does have that Aaron Condren in there. Ooh. There we go. That's what it looks like there. And it's thin though, guys. So don't be... <laughs> It's thin, like there's not much you can put in here. To, it's not a wide base or anything. So I had put my planner in here. Again, more so to keep it safe, you know, from the rest of my purse, I suppose. But it closes fine here, if you were to put that in there. Let's show you the bag. <laughs> Let's show you the bag now. The bag is beautiful. I chose the mauve one. However, I did purchase the camel one. However, I don't have it just yet. So I'll be sure to show you the camel one when I do get it. Let me show you the bag though. Okay, so I had to zoom out here. So excuse the rest of the mess on my desk here. But here is the mauve bag here. It has this outside pocket. You can see it's got like that asterisk in there. This is the side though where you can go all the way through. So they already have advertised it to put for your like your luggage and whatnot. So it'll stay on there. So be mindful. Whatever you throw down here is going to come out down there. It does have the actual um, side things for you to put a strap on it. And it comes with its own strap for vegan leather. But very thin. I would use another strap for sure. Thicker, better on the back, but it does have it for it. I actually put my Erin Condren um, sanitizer holder in here because it's cute, right? Like, <laughs> oh, I think mine broke. Anyways, I put my sanitizer thing in here. And just so you know, those sanitizers were part of a gift set that is no longer available, but I found some really good looking dupes from Amazon and I'll link it below too, but it just doesn't have the asterisk, but same exact color and it comes in black and brown too. Anyhow, the other side of the bag, let me rotate it, has another pocket. There's an asterisk in there, asterisk, my gosh, with another zip pocket. So this one you can, it's a very small one, isn't it? Oh no, it actually goes deep. It does go deep. So asterisk pocket and then this one goes deep too and nothing's gonna fall out at the bottom which is good <laughs> that's a plus here you have a zip closure if you wanted to it is gold hardware Ooh, it's not gonna catch anything that's what it looks like zip closed okay it's not very wide guys it's not that wide it's very thin actually um, I guess it reminds me of the normal Erin Condren tote bags as far as the depth of it there. Not the depth. I don't know what you call that part. All right. Asterix. Asterix, asterix, asterix. That's what it looks like inside. It has the feel of a diaper bag. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I know. It's pretty bad. But it's good. I wish the lining was a little different, but... This is a padded part for if you're going to put a laptop or whatnot. I have the MacBook. Show you. This is my MacBook. Um, I forgot what size it is. It's an M2. It's a new one. I think it's like 16 inches or something. Anyways, it fits. Totally fits in here. Slide it in there. The padding. Button it up. And now it's stored in there safely and secure kind of big almost like I can put other things in there I feel like this is too thick like it needs to be a little bit tighter maybe but that's that bag you do have two pockets right here you have your little keychain if you want to hang on your keys in there you have one pocket for drinks or whatever you want to put on the side here and another on the other side for the same drinks and all and then on this side 
I had my wallet. <laughs> Nothing in my wallet in. On this side, you have one pocket here. And there is the Erin Condren logo. But that is it. That is the gist of this bag. So, you see it there. Pretty basic. I do kind of wish I got the black one instead of the mauve one. It will match all of my stuff, especially my luggage, but I do kind of wish I got the black one. It is canvas, just like all the other canvases that are out there, so it could get dirty, so be mindful of that. Here is the insert I'm gonna put into the bag, and it fits nicely. I have the wisteria, again, I think it comes in that green color, I don't know what it's called, but it comes in that green color. But it fits in there nicely, as you can see. Lots of room. Room, even if you did have a drink in there. I did put my drink in there earlier, and it did work out just fine. So, yeah. Ideally, this isn't my definition of a bag insert. My bag inserts are thicker with a wider base <laughs> to protect the bag. This is just, in my opinion, put all your planner essentials in one thing, right? And then everything else that you want to carry in your bag will be there, too. But... Yeah, it's considered a work bag. Call it what you will. It could be a nice bag, planner bag, whatever you want to use it for. But I'm more excited for my camel one. It just seems like it's going to be better quality. I wouldn't even say quality. It's probably the wrong word. Quality is good. I just think it's going to be more sophisticated, I guess. Don't come at me. I still like it. This is actually my Laurel Denise pencil pouch. <laughs> and it fits in there nicely, too. It's already been advertised showing Erin Condren pencil cases and whatnot, too, so that you know that all fits in there, I'm sure. So that is all that I got, guys. That is all that I got from the actual holiday box. So I didn't get the advent because I got the bigger box and was able to choose, you know, more expensive items. However, I will be ordering it. It's available now. I do think it will sell out. However... Erin Condren does show the contents of the advent box on the site. So if you really want to know, you can keep swiping on their photos and it'll show you the contents and whatnot. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on some of these items. Is this something you think you might be picking up or whatnot? And if you do, I'd appreciate it if you use my affiliate link down below in the description. It does not cost you a thing to use my affiliate links. I do receive a small commission, but it's at no cost to you. So Thank you for your support when you do shop with my links. I, I really do. do <laughs> it really does mean a lot to me. But again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.